Greetings friends, welcome again to my game room. I'm David McCord. Uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about a game in this episode that's called Mora Baraba. Mora Baraba is a game that comes to us from South Africa. Uh, it's been played for many generations down there uh, in South Africa and Botswana and also Lesotho and several of the other countries in the region. The game is one of those three in a row games and as a matter of fact, uh, folks who are um, somewhat familiar with historical games will look at this board and they'll say, oh, it's 12 Men's Morris. It does play uh, like 12 Men's Morris, but it's a game that was independently uh, developed like a lot of smaller games around the world that you'll find uh, that were developed separately. In South Africa, the game was popularized by youth who were... Um, herding cattle uh, out in the veld and uh, would play the game a lot. So the pieces in the game, uh, even today, are referred to as cows. There have been boards carved in rocks that have been found in archaeological digs in South Africa and other places that go back uh, um, at least 800 years. So it's, it's what you would call a historical traditional game for sure. Hey, let's have a look at the rules here and uh, you can see how to play more of Baraba. Mora Baraba is played in three phases. The game begins with all the pegs, 12 per player, off the board. Then phase one is placing the cows. Players take turns, and each turn in this phase consists of placing a cow on an empty point on the board. The aim is to create a row of three cows along a line on a board. This is commonly called a mill in board game jargon. If a player forms a mill, they may remove one of the opponent's cows, which is not already part of a row of three. That cow is then out of the game. If a move creates more than one mill, only one cow can be removed. A cow in a mill may not be removed unless all the opponent's cows are in mills. Then any cow may be removed. Phase two is moving the cows. After all the cows have been placed, each turn consists of moving a cow to an adjacent empty point. As before, completing a mill allows a player to remove one of the opponent's cows, and this cow must not be in a mill, unless all the opponent's cows are in the mills. If a player moves a cow which breaks one of their mills, that same mill cannot be reformed on the next move by the same cows in the same position. Each time a mill is made on a later turn, one of the opponent's cows is removed. Of course, by breaking the mill, the player exposes the cows that were in that mill to the risk of being removed by the opponent on their next turn. Phase 3 introduces the amazing flying cows. When a player has only three cows left, desperate measures are called for. This player's cows are allowed to fly to an empty point anywhere on the board, not just one space away. There is one more small rule uh, to be aware of that they uh, play in, in tournament play, uh, that if ever uh, a series of ten moves are made and no mill is formed, then the game is considered a draw. There's an organization called Mind Sports South Africa, which keeps track of uh, championship tournaments around the country. There are rankings and there are um, the wor world champions uh, of the game. Mora Baraba is on the game list for the traditional world games competition that's held every five years somewhere around the planet. It's been held in Athens, Greece, in New Orleans in the United States, Melbourne, Australia, uh, Bangkok, Thailand, also at Epsom College in England, as well, of course, in uh, Johannesburg and South Africa. The Peg Pastimes version of the game, of course, fits into our entire series of traditional world games. 
and uh, very convenient little package here, uh, easily portable and uh, looks good on a bookshelf. And so we definitely encourage you to, uh, to check that out and uh, also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel here and tell all your friends about it and share this uh, with your friends and uh, keep track of future episodes. We'll do more how-to episodes as well as talk about other games um, in the world. There's lots of them. And uh, if you have any questions or requests, by all means, uh, let us know and we'll, we'll see what we can do to uh, address those topics in, in the future episodes. Meanwhile, like I always say, be sure to play every day.